welcome to my channel. This time I want to try the flower effect again um, and uh, I'm not really uh, good at that. So this is my newest try on this technique. So what I did here, I poured a thin layer of resin in my coaster molds and um, it has about 40 degrees Celsius, so it has to have a certain amount of heat in there already for the pigment paste not to sink to the bottom. So I mixed a little bit of glitter into a little bit of my resin and I'm using this for my middles and this is what I'm doing here. I have three colors and the first one is uh, like this uh, berry mica powder and I put just a, a, a little tiny amount of pigment paste in there in white to make it just a little uh, bit more uh, opaque. And I'm taking my little stick and I'm putting it in there and I'm just laying the color onto the surface and I'm not trying to push the color down too much because uh, I'm scared that it drops again. So, and I, I don't have no rhyme or reason. I'm trying to imitate some uh, flower petals, but that didn't really work. Uh, but um, it doesn't matter really because I'm uh, doing uh, afterwards something that you, I'll show you how to do that. Now this is my second color and it's the same recipe, it's uh, blue mica powder and a, a tiny amount of the white pigment paste and I'm just putting it on to like the other color. And to get a little bit more contrast in those um, flowers I'm doing the same thing with the white pigment paste and I just put a tiny tiny amount of pigment paste into my resin and I'm dropping it down just like the other petals that I did. And on the bottom left corner you can already see that uh, the resin is working and pulling towards the middle so it takes the colored resin with it uh, and forms the flowers. Uh, at least this is what I hope that I did. <laughs> And the colors as well uh, have the same temperature as the other resin did. It's the same resin. I mix it up all in one batch. And it is important that the resin has to start thicken up again. Uh, thicken up already because uh, otherwise you endanger that the white that you put in there and all the colors will drop down to the bottom and you will see blobs in the front of the coaster. And really, we don't really want that. And that's why we have to check out the temperature so far. And ever since my petals weren't that pretty, uh, I use my dotting tool and take something that is not that, that uh, has not a sharp tip, because if you uh, go too deep into the uh, mold, you will scratch your mold, and this is not necessarily really, because um, molds are like really expensive, and you don't want to scratch it. So just be careful with what you. Uh, stir your resin into that mold. So swell in the middle and then our flowers are ready. So 
so it's been 12 hours and as you can see here uh, the resin um, did pull mainly in one direction. I wonder why that happened. Uh, if somebody knows, just leave me a comment. Uh, I wonder about that. But all in all, um, this time the flowers did work and I didn't have no blobs and I really, really like them. And I was really surprised that it, <laughs> that it really did work because uh, on my other tries, uh, I did not have any luck with the flower technique. But I think they're really pretty and um, yeah, um, I will do that again, maybe with a little bit of a bigger uh, mold to make just a bigger flower. And here you can see, I really like them. But um, what I'm thinking here is that I, the middles with the glitter, they are too big. Next time I will put only a little dollop in there uh, for it not to spread that white. If you like my video, I would appreciate a thumbs up. It enables me to make more videos for y'all and it shows YouTube that the people are interested in the things that I do. Thank you. I decided to make a dark background on those flowers because I wanted to uh, emphasize the look on the front of the flowers. But I did make a mistake uh, on that uh, on one of those pieces because I should have put uh, on the bottom, well, at least on the front <laughs> right now, um, a little bit of liquid latex because I have one drip dripping down to the front side and uh, ever since this is like really dark, uh, really dark resin that I colored there. I took mica powder in black and in dark blue for the background. It went to the to the front and uh, it formed a drop on, on the front of one of those coasters. Um, I'll show you later. But if you are interested in a troubleshooting video where I show how I fix problems like that and if you're interested in that just leave me a comment and I'll see what I can do for y'all. And here they are now. All in all, I'm really uh, happy with the result that I have this time. And um, yeah, uh, it surprised me. And there you see, like on the, on my fingertip there, like uh, on the right corner upstairs, um, this is the drop that I meant. That it dropped um, to the front, and I should have put liquid latex on there. Then it would have came uh, off just like that. So I leave you some pictures and I made some pictures in the sunlight too and I hope you like the video as much as I like make uh, as much as I like making it. <laughs>